Uh, my name's Jeff Estes. I'm the Director of Partners in Think, and today we have an automation event going on. Behind me is a great example of a completely closed loop automation cell. We have a robot loading and unloading the machine with in feed and out feed conveyors. On that conveyor, there's vision systems so it can determine what part is being fed in, and then that program can be called up on the machine prior to making that part. It's very seamless, a lot, of, lot happening there that you don't see. After the part is machined, the robot will take it out, put it in a Renishaw equator, and then me measure those critical dimensions that you want to measure in a post-process type mode. Before it gets to machining that final dimension on the next part, that auto it has already auto-comped the machine, compensated the tool to make sure that you continue to make good parts. So again, the key here is a closed loop system that allows you to identify a family of parts, what program you want, make those parts very quickly, measure them quickly, and adjust. It can give you lights out operation, or it can give you very low attended type operation from an automation standpoint. Key component here is the tooling, the work holding has to be just as agile as your machine and your robots are. I hope this helps today. Uh, we're, we're glad that you listen. And if you have any questions, please contact us at Partners and Things.